what's going on youtube in today's video i got something for the tahoe right here so finally back to work on it um for everyone that's new this is my 04 tahoe uh i've done a lot of things to it you can go back and look through the channel but just quickly before i jump into the video uh those are 20 by 12 a negative 44 offset on 33s three inch leveling kit um mbrp exhaust spectra intake and i've also put a screen tow mirrors and two 12s on the back so that's pretty much everything i've done i've probably done a few more things um, like headlights and tail lights i forgot to mention but that's a basic overall build um so today we're going to be changing this grill out and i know you can't really see it but if you look right over here you can see that this grill is chrome and it's blocked by the black piece of the grill but i got a new one so let's go ahead and go take a look at the new one that i got so that's what this box was right here and i haven't even seen it myself i just threw it in a truck i opened the box up just so i can make sure that this was actually a grill in here so let me get this thing out the box and then we can go ahead and take a look at it So here is the grill and for the price that I paid, it does not look that bad, honestly. Um, actually, pretty surprised that it looks as good as it does. Um, I think this is gonna look great on the truck though. Uh, and I paid 98 bucks for it, uh, two day shipping on Amazon. If it turns out okay, I'll throw a link in the down below um but just just looking there's a few things and i have you know i can kind of see there's a few imperfections in the paint which for what i paid i expected again this is a grill i'm not expecting it to look as good as the rest of you know the car so or the truck so that's that um it did come with some hardware that i need to fasten the sides to the rest of the vehicle, I mean, the rest of the grill. So I got to figure that out. It didn't come with any directions, of course. So yeah, what I'm about to do right now though is turn the Tahoe around and we're gonna figure this out. And then we're gonna throw it on. So let's get right to it. Okay, so um, I have the grill flipped over and to install the little side pieces like these two, there are four bolts. So you just need to line it up and, or screws, I mean, and put these four screws in the back once you have it lined up. And there's also some little tabs that come through to help you know when it's lined up. It's very self-explanatory. So um, if, you know, once you get these and you don't see the directions, don't let that fool you. I mean, it's, this is as self, this is as self-explanatory as it gets, so. I mean, I got all of them in, so, I mean, as you can see, it's pretty secure. A little flimsy, but I think it'll hold just fine. You know, they're not supporting anything. They're just there to fill in gaps, so. Now what I need to do is pop this grill off and go ahead and install that one. So, let's go ahead and get to doing that. Let me pop the hood real quick so I can show y'all how to take the grill off. All right. So now that we have the hood pop, there's a few things you need to do to pop the grill off. Uh, so mainly there's one screw right here, which I don't know what happened to mine, but pop this or take this screw off. I believe it's a 10 millimeter, maybe a 12. And these four screws right here, uh, be very careful with them. These are actually just tabs. Just take a Phillips screwdriver and loosen these up. There's four of them. You can see the top two, but the bottom two are just gonna be to the right of the lower headlight, whatever you wanna call it. So, and then on this side, it'll be to the left of this one. So, very simple. And um, after that, what you wanna do is 
just want to pull from like the side over here somewhere somewhere where you can get some leverage and just pull it out i won't be able to record it but i'm just go ahead and pop the grill off and let's go ahead and do that all right so we got the grill off and this freaking grill guard this makes working on the front end of this truck so much more difficult uh, if you don't have a grill guard like this it's very simple you won't even have to pop the headlights off but i have to pop mine off so if you have a grill guard then it's gonna be a little bit tougher but here's the old grill um this is how it looks and still in decent shape it's just dirty it needs to be cleaned but the difference from that one to this one is pretty large um this one's just all mesh i think it's gonna look a lot better it's gonna blend in a lot better but let's go ahead and throw the new one on one thing i will say is this one does feel a lot more flimsy than the chevy which is because that one is just a full one piece grill this one the sides are molded or bolted on so as you can see it's falling right now but i wanted the black grill i'm pretty sure it'll hold up just fine and that's what we're gonna do all right people so it is now the next day and i'm back at the shop i did finish up yesterday so here is the finished product and you know if you really look you can see the black grill back there and honestly it looks pretty good it looks great and it's exactly the look i was going for but now let me tell you why this grill was not worth the headache um, well it depends on who's working on the vehicle but let me explain the problems and i gotta pop the hood to do that so let me do that real quick Okay, so after popping the hood, I'm pretty sure you can see that I have zip ties holding this in. Why is that? Um, they came with these, this grill came with metal clips. Like I showed you, I installed them. And pretty much with those metal clips and this hole right here, none of it lined up at all. So, I mean, it's kind of expected for the cheapest grill the cheapest black grill on amazon i believe it was so um but for now that's how this is being held together it's very rigged i could throw a screw in there but it's pretty secure you know it's screw is not going anywhere and um that's probably the only huge downfall that and i had to cut the tabs off I'll get those plastic tabs off and I'll show y'all one real quick. So I had to get these tabs off and the top two were not a problem. They weren't an issue even though this one was a little bit tough to get to. It was the ones on the bottom. So that's another thing that made it very inconvenient. You pretty much have to cut them off because it's so hard to get behind there unless you want to take a bunch of things off. It's just very inconvenient. So um, what, what I end up doing is you know, my brother came by and one of his friends came by and he ended up having a, a light grinding wheel on it, one of the battery powered ones, and he helped me grind the plastic off so I could just push the tabs out, bottom two. So that took me a while because I was fooling with it for a while trying to get it off, but that's that. But this is the finished product. It does look good, you know, even with this being zip tied on it turned out better than I thought it was gonna be after I started working on this, so I like it. That's that. So that's the grill. I'm trying to get the best views I can because you can't really notice it that well while it is behind this grill guard, but it looks a lot better. So let's let the hood back down. And that is the front of my tile now, so. 
I like it better than the grill that's over here. So that's that. Um, but that's gonna do it. I uh, hope y'all enjoyed it again. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, comment. And I'll catch y'all in the next one.